Yep. I wanted a bottle, but he didn't have any. It was really cute. I looked at him and I said, <laughs> do, you, do you have thumbs up in bottles or just the can? And he looked at me and he went, thumbs up? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid rag tubes. Go bang the um. Go no bang the um. Some of them Go sandwich what? It's fairy language. Ah! Oh, I love you too. You can follow us on Instagram. Get it? more juicy content. See what I did? Subscribe to get the like button. That is juicy content right there. Mmm. Sit on that. Get out of here. Indian Coke. Yep. It's better than Coke. But, yeah. Do you want Coke? No. I don't like Coke. I know you don't. Because Coke is flat. Uh, today we're doing a movie review. And happy Halloween! Woo! And. Or whenever and you're what? October 30th. One year. My wife and I. No. Ah, uh, yes, they're all celebrating that one. Every single one of you. <laughs> it's the <laughs> biggest holiday in India. Is that your wedding anniversary? Yeah. Uh, We've been married one year. tomorrow, right? October 30th, yeah. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, you're, you're coming up on me. Yep, we'll catch up <laughs> pretty soon. You just wait. We'll pass you up. Today we're doing a movie review. <laughs> I, today, sorry, I yep. said that. I Everybody's, apologize. Everybody's uh, having a uh, and we got to moment. one more spooky one before the spooky end of death. the uh, Halloween season, <laughs> and we got to the 2018 film <laughs> Perry or Parai. <laughs> no, not Parai. How would you say it? Parai or Parai? Pari. I would say Parai or Parai. I would say Parai. Oh, Parai. No, I would say Pari. What would you say? Pari. Pari. That ah, sounds better. Much better. Pari. <laughs> Not Perry. Pari. 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 Perry. We, we watched the movie Perry. Tyler Perry? <laughs> Anyways, the game is 2018 fantasy horror mystery film starring the one and only Anushka Sherma. Also known as Queen Coley. Queen Coley. Isn't, isn't she... Uh, isn't Virat Kohli her husband? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Not, 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 she's not the wife. No. He is her of husband. Virat Kohli. He is the husband of Anushka the Sharma. The queen and king reign supreme. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. But That's yeah. how it works. Her film, uh, starring, uh, her, um, but. And she produced it. Produced it. She loves producing, um. Yeah. And, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't either. Oh, wait, that's we, different. That's a different that's one. A different yeah, one. forget that. Oh, okay. same name, though. Yep. Uh, but directed by... Uh, mm, Prosit Roy. Prosit Roy. Who, did he do Patalog? Which would make sense, because she produced I actually produced believe that. Is Prosit... I, I think Prosit Roy is a woman. Am I not mistaken? No. No? Prosit Roy is a man? No. Why did I think there was a woman at the helm of this film? sexist? No, I really did. I thought this film had a woman director. Professor Roy did direct at least some episodes of Patalog, which would make sense. And she exec she produced exec that. Produced yeah. that. Um, so, Do you uh, remember where we first saw her? I'm pretty sure the first place we ever saw her was this film I'm thinking of in my head. The first film we saw of hers was, I believe, NH10. Was that before PK? No. Okay. You're right. Okay. You're right. Uh, I always forget she was actually in that. I do too. <laughs> I had forgotten until we watched this and I was reminded and looking up the things we've seen her in. And I was like, oh yeah. That's right. No joke. She Anyways, was in PK. Uh, so like I said, I wanted to get to one more spooky film uh, before the end of the uh, Halloween spooky season here in America. And so we got to this one. This is one that's been on my list for a long time. Go on. I, I love Anushka Sharma and... Uh, it's a creepier style film, but different style of creepy than normal horror, I feel. Um, but this will be 100% for you if you haven't watched it. We saw it on Amazon. Amazon. You can go watch it there. Rick, your initial thoughts, please. Well, we've just keep... I was not expecting us to get as many good horror films this month because we weren't really calling it Horror Month. And we know that this is an underrepresented genre in India. Guys... I read that they're box office successes, and they're good. So I think this, like, the horror genre that I love and would love to see, I would love to see this made like an American horror genre style where they could go really, really dark. Mm -hmm. I think if they did, this had the potential to be, like, beyond exceptional. But other than that, and we'll talk about the pros and the cons, I I really liked it. This is, uh, in my 
easy top three favorite horror films from India. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't blame uh, you. I think it's outside of maybe the end that I wasn't too thrilled with, uh, just because it was a little too happy for me. Uh, <laughs> Which is a common theme for me. That's a pretty common through line. Yeah. Uh, I, I love the end, of course. I thought the acting was superb in this. I thought the story was original. <laughs> That's my favorite thing. I have my list of my favorite things. It's different. And obviously, maybe you guys were more familiar with like these. Because uh, is it more of like a Muslim? Uh, uh, that Yeah. In fact, the, the name Pari, Pari. Is, is, is the word for fairy. Yeah. And I asked that of Indrani. I said, so in India, are fairies like not nice yeah. and she said well there's a mix and a spec particularly in in islam and the depiction of fairies in islam there are some that are good and some that are not good okay so yeah because in america we hear fairies the first thing that comes to my mind is tinkerbell yeah and that kind of fairy well this also again uh, very different but also reminiscent of guillermo del toro and how he used because he mm -hmm. in like a uh, pan's labyrinth fairies are also different than a typical fairy right uh and also in like original fairy tales mm -hmm. they're not this cutesy little thing Right. They're actually these weird uh, beings. Oh, and if you're keeping score at home, this was our 64th film of the year, our 271st all-time, uh, 38th Hindi of the year, 167th Hindi all-time. There you go. Yeah, the uh, this, I thought, was a, a really, really well-done film, and it kept my attention. Oh, yeah. Throughout. Throughout. I was engaged. And the acting was exceptional by Anushka Sharma and and others, um, who <laughs> I I thought he was our dose at, at first. I know at first, right? Because we've seen him so much, but, but he's not yet. No, but we've seen him many times. Many and times. He's always Rajat Kapoor. He's always exceptional. Yes, he is uh, in everything he does. So maybe one day he will be our dose. Okay, so I need to find, and I was looking because I don't know the character's name. The actress who played her mom. The, uh, the the witch yeah, okay. woman, yeah, because she deserves a shout out for her performance. Yeah, I don't know, but I don't remember the character name, so I was going through. But you know, forgive me, I did look and I was I couldn't. I was trying to compare it to the character breakdown in in other places and just couldn't find it. So, uh, but I thought she did an yeah. exceptional job. Everybody, in that role. there wasn't a bad performance in this, which was which is wonderful to see. Yeah. Um, but let's talk about uh, the the star of the film and one who I th I probably said this every time we've seen a film of hers is like she's quickly becoming one of my favorite actresses uh, in India because I think she one picks interesting roles uh, and she also does ex an exceptional job at those roles. Uh, and this is also very different because obviously the, the the previous two that we saw, uh, just this Halloween, uh, it's, we're, we're batting 100 right now. In terms yeah, of, no kidding. Uh, spooky films for, for the month. Um, but all three are female starred, uh, stars with uh, actresses at the helm and, and doing really good performances. Uh, but she does, uh, obviously it's very different because it's not really possession, obviously, story. It's uh, no. It's, uh, it's, it's a. It's a little. It's a little more complicated it's a than fairy that. tale, but not a fairy tale because you know, the title of the film. Right, right but at the beginning. I thought she did uh, exceptional. I really, really enjoyed her performance. I almost thought this was a, and maybe there was kind of parallels of of like human trafficking uh, mm. involved in everything. Mm. I thought that maybe that was like a, almost an inspiration for could be what they were doing, kind of like a side. Uh, not shout out really, but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I do. What would you think about her? Oh, I thought she did a great job. I, I would. I she's she's somebody that I'd really like to talk about in terms of because there's not a lot about her, this part of her life, uh, th that you can read about in terms of training she's had as an actress because she started as a model, and uh, she has had training. And I've looked at some of the things that she's done in preparation for roles, mm -hmm. and she never set out to be an actress. She set out to be a model. So her work as an actress is uh, I, I'd really just like to know would love to talk to her and find out what her process is I'm especially thinking about process these days and what's going through the minds of an actor and what what they're doing and where they come from in terms of doing what they do but she's like it's it's really interesting every single one of the movies that we have seen are driven mm -hmm. <clears throat> by the female yeah the story is carried by the woman in the film I feel has that been every horror? Tombad, no. No. Tombad wasn't. No. But almost every other the one. majority. Because it's either witch-driven. Yep. Possession-driven. Yep. And it's usually... I, I, I'm wondering if that's strategic because it, it's also uh, probably easier for audiences to sympathize. 
for women. It is because uh, they're more vulnerable. Yeah, yeah. So, um, um, and, and they're more easily taken advantage of. They are usually more often the victims because uh, men suck. Yeah. Um, and uh, the, the, you know, it's, it's you really have to go out of the way to have a male character. And when you do, it's typically a young boy because that's mm-hmm. there's an innocence level there. Yeah. That you have a level of compassion and a sense of wanting to protect and feeling the immediacy of the danger she's in that she can be overpowered. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I and I would love to talk to her about why she loves mm-hmm. horror so much and or intense uh, projects. Yeah. Because in Zek producing, it's like she she I think she exec produced Bull Bull as well. She did. Yeah, yeah, and then obviously put the lock, mm-hmm. and uh, she has darker elements. She did NH10 uh, about abduction, and she did, had a really good performance in that. Obviously, in the, more towards the beginning, because her first one was with Renvier, which we haven't seen yet. The um, the rom com that they did together, and then they started dating, and then they also did Dilda Hockney Do, which right. obviously she did really well. But I think when she started to get more money, more acclaim, she, I think she probably just really enjoys this genre. I, one, I I don't know why if you're an actor why you why you wouldn't because one it it also even though some are like they don't require a lot from the actors more just like the spooks, a lot of the performances are often pretty intense especially if you're being possessed or if you're or if there's, yeah like obviously there's, if you're a fairy <laughs> there's almost always very high stakes there's almost always a lot you know challenging that, very challenging there's typically. Especially if you're the person going through something where you have to demonstrate complete changes of emotion at a given moment. So yeah, it's it's typically a fun genre to work in as an actor. I can, I want very much to be in horror stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, she did amazing. Um, and uh, R- Rajit, who we've seen many times, and he's always he's a thespian yep. through and through. Always, we know it. Yeah. Hopefully, he'll be our dose one day. Um, but I, I thought it was Niraj at first. He rem- <laughs> he. Consistently, they remind me one of the other. Uh-huh. Yeah, um, but he did he did a really good job as the antagonist of the story. Totally believed him. Um, but also, like you almost understood at the end, not not why he was trying to uh, kill, but like these. Would you do some? I mean, you probably wouldn't torture people, but we'd probably try to kill a monster. Like, well, yeah. If people's human nature is like, oh, that's scary. Get rid of it. <laughs> yeah, but he did. He does a great job of not judging the character. Yeah. And in the climactic moments when he's finally with her, who he's been hunting down since she's born, you you can sense from him a genuine uh, empathy or sympathy for the girl herself being the one who has to, because it's not her fault. Yeah. And you sense that from him, which is good because he's not the enemy in this story. No. At all. He could, and he could have easily been portrayed or written that way, which would have done a disservice to, I think, the story. I think they did a very good job of with, with his character. The, uh, Ar- 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 Arnab, uh, who was our lead male in this, I thought did a really good job as well. I yeah. liked him uh, 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 quite a bit. Uh, I want to talk about the end, but not the part I didn't like, but the part that I really did like was right at the end. Once again, spoilers, if you hadn't seen it, go watch it, obviously. But. When she, they were holding each other at yes, the end. Yes, yes. And she restrained her. Yes. Did you see it? Like her eyes turned black. I she, loved it. She died she, from her poison. Yeah, but she was trying. She was like, I I could. Yes. And she didn't, which yes. I did like that part a lot. Um, the, the, the whole ending of them just like happy-go-lucky. I don't know if it was my favorite. It wasn't like I wasn't like angry at it or anything. It's just I was like. This seems a little too happy for me. Yeah. No, I my favorite part. But I love that part specifically. I, I did too. And it ties into so one, of the, one of the only things about it that, and this is being really, really nitpicky, but I, I, I don't know what I would have done to change it. So it's, it's a small nitpick. But, and some of you who've seen it may have felt this way. When it happened, I wanted to be heartbroken. Like I wanted to feel deep deep sadness that this happened to her and they couldn't be together to have the payoff be even deeper Mm. when she goes to bite and doesn't for you to be like my goodness this isn't just a horror film this is this is a freaking love story and it for whatever reason it didn't get me there i don't have a problem with that i felt like what it did was fine it was good but part of me wanted to to be there mm. and just be so so sad and find that moment to be 
wow, it's still a great moment, mm. but I wanted it to be a, yeah, wow, you know? Yeah. But I, the things that I loved were, number one, such an original story. Yeah, I, I love the story. Which is the most important thing. Which my, I mean, I don't know which film. I, Tombad is probably still up there. It's way In up terms there. of just how cinematic and how artistically brilliant that film really is. But this one... Um, I it's, it's I, like I said, it's probably definitely in my top three of, of films I would recommend now for yeah. for Indian, just because everything I think is really good. But what's great now I mean, is it's that original. After four years, I can honestly feel like like next Halloween, if someone said, "What are some Indian films I should watch?" I could rattle off five for them mm -hmm. now. Yeah, without even thinking about it, which yeah. is a really happy thing. Yeah, to say you really ought to watch these these watch these like. And um, even though it's not probably the scariest, there are some scary moments, and there's some really good uh, kind of jump. Yeah, there's scares. some jump, good jump scares. Good jump scares. Not as good as I think 1920. I think 1920 did uh, the that and Bull as yeah. well. Did it, the, the jump scares a little better? But just it's just, it came out what 20 years after a Bull exactly. <laughs> and I think there was a shout out. And I feel like the head when she killed him. I know it was a little bit. I feel like it was a shout out to Bull Bull. Maybe. <laughs> not, not Bull Bull. Sorry, um, no, no, no. The one we just boot. watched. B a boot. Boot. Yeah, a little bit. It felt like that. It did feel like that. I just, I was like, eh, that feels like that, right? Yeah, but I, I, one of the things that, um, you know, I would have loved for it to have gone the full dark, and I, I think this could be story-wise a, one of the most terrifying, if you went full dark on this, this could be deeply, deeply disturbing. Or if you let, like, Guillermo do it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It could be really disturbing. Yeah. However, I think they did a pretty good job. Mm hmm of making this a scary film that still has accessibility for the general public in yep. India. Which unfortunately like what you got to do. I say unfortunately because at this time you got you know you got to do that with the genre. Uh, I just uh, you know I think there is a audience for there pure, is pure horror. There is. I think there was a person that tweeted on 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 Twitter that said since pure horror is basically dead in Indian cinema and I replied I said I don't know if it was ever alive. Yeah, and I wouldn't. If call you're talking it. pure horror, because if you if you can rattle off ten names and uh, ten ten films, and those ten films are within a twenty year span, right? I don't know if that means it's alive. Well, or and, that means it's just barely ticking. <laughs> and but, and there's some people who would say for them, pure horror includes horror, horror includes um, slasher films, and slasher films for me are not a horror film. Yeah, they they are horror. They're just they're a in the horror genre, genre but it doesn't. It doesn't require much of me, and I don't particularly like to just watch a movie where a madman's walking around chopping people up. That yeah. doesn't do much for me. It's fun. Um, but the story, I thought the sound design yeah. was fantastic. Yeah. I thought the cinematography was excellent. I thought the score was excellent. And I gave a special, I put the mom, exclamation point. I really thought that she did, especially the scene where the professor is talking to her for the first time and he's got her captive mm. and she's telling him to impregnate her that whole sequence that's great that was it, it was like that's the kind of role i expect nawaz to do mm -hmm. which he could uh, not for him to do it's got to be a woman that plays that part and i yeah. thought she did it she hit it out of the park yeah she did a great job great job um i do want to shout out also the 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 makeups makeup department yeah, and, they did and a great job effects department not not vfx but the, like um like the toenails and the eye clean eyes when he did his when he took his eye out the uh, kind of the 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 witches or fairies, if you were, I, uh, what exactly they were in their form yeah. when they were all black faced and creepy looking. Yeah, I thought all of them looked really good, as opposed to like in in book. Obviously, you could tell they were budget constrained and of course and that kind of stuff. But yeah, this one looks like because there were some like VFX shots that you could tell that's not where they put their money. Yeah, um, but. On actual practical effects on actors, yes, I thought they were all really good. All the stuff on Anushka, yes, whether it was her toenails, her the blood, like when she turned once, and you could saw her like eating the, uh, uh, what was she eating? No, that was that was nineteen twenty. But no, when she ate the dog, yes, <laughs> petting it, yep, and bit it, yeah. I I also all the blood coming down her face. Ever anybody who. The continuity people, whoever was in charge of continuity, and then also the editing job to ensure continuity with some of the shots were fantastic. In fact, there's one sequence early in the film 
where it was so good I couldn't tell if it was just great editing or if they were doing a two camera setup. Mm. The, and and the big one in these kinds of films is when people get scratched up and bloodied, and you're seeing a sequence that lasts for like three or four minutes on film that probably took seven to ten days in actual filming time. Yeah, it's not easy for makeup to maintain. Uh, there's a scratch here and there's some little blood over here and there's a dribble of blood over here and then there's another one over here and there's a little thing over here and you've got to keep it, especially if you're not filming in sequence. Yeah. They they did a great job with continuity. Yeah, I agree. Um, like, like I said, overall, I, I, I find very little flaws with this film and I find it so original. Definitely, I well, once again, Tone Bad would be the other one that would be as original. Yeah. Uh, just in a very different way. Yeah. Um, but I... I and darker. Think, I think that is a, a the way the genre should go. Focus on. I mean, India has in in all its different states and cultures and towns, all have different scary stories based off folklore or religious stories or whatever. Yes, you can make thousands of films just based off of those that are creepy and could. Uh, for the genre, right? Yes. As opposed, I mean, even though we we did enjoy the, like the Exorcist ones, like Botan and 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 1920, which had a very Exorcist kind of feel. Yeah. But so, but still Indian. Yeah. And and still Indian in their story. But I feel like the the ones that are so original and so gripping have been like more on the folklore, like this in Tumbad. Tumbad. Yeah, and yeah. they're the ones that I think have the potential, not just in India, but globally, because yeah. there's. There's some the unknown is what's scary bull bull as well. Yeah, bull bull, not, true. not it's scary, uh, but, but. there the unknown is the big factor in the scariness. And when you've got a story that emanates from not just decades or centuries, but millennia, mm-hmm. um, it's so yeah. That was my favorite above all is the originality yeah. of this story. Yeah, I thought it was an exceptional story. Do you think? The girl he had agreed to marry. Do you think they stayed together and took care of the baby? Yes. You think so? I do. You think she got over? Yeah, because, and it's interesting, there was a point in the I'm movie. I'm a skeptic, I don't. There was a point in the movie I wrote in my notes that I didn't, I hadn't fully felt the need for that other relationship in the film. I felt like it was taking me away from it. She was doing a great job. Mm-hmm. But in the storyline, I was trying to figure out why do I need to have this? And then it ended. Yeah. And I think for the same reason she stops and helps her have the baby because of her own personal experience with the loss of her own child. Mm-hmm. I think that, yes, I, I, I think I think they I think they do. And that's I do. I'm the optimist. You know, I think because, and because of her, for her, it's very much a redemption of her being able to have the child that she regrets that she never got to keep. I do like that they didn't, because sometimes in Indian films, they want to tie everything up a little bit. So I do like that the, they didn't show us like a year later. Right. See them together and they have the baby. And yeah. She's pregnant with another baby. So I'm very glad they didn't do that because sometimes Indian films will do that. And I'm like, stop it. Yeah. <laughs> Too happy. Yeah. I did. I did appreciate as well. Um, we mentioned how he, the professor, evidenced a, a level of, of sympathy yeah. toward her. And I did feel that sense of this poor girl when she's begging um, Ar- Arnab to please don't let them in here because the girl is innocent. It's not her fault. She did nothing wrong. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you can't let... Th- this continue Mm. and that that's why i think maybe if i had been in a theater Mm. fully absorbed no interruptions completely in it for the whole time i might have had a bigger sense of that tragedy in that really wonderful payoff in the end where she's going to clearly have the opportunity to put her poison into him and she chose she chooses not to to die that's Really, it's so original. Really original. Um, I wonder why she's been away for a little while. Anushka? Uh, Looks like she's in a, a new cricket film that's coming out. Um, cool. But, yeah, she hasn't been credited uh, for an actor in a film since 
I don't even know what that is. I don't either. She did like, zero with uh, SRK in 2018. Yeah. So, but it's been been kind of like four years. Yeah. I mean, I know. She, I think I think she got married not too long ago. To um, the, yeah, that's in that period, in that time like, frame, and, and she COVID and maybe yep. she just took a little break, and she been producing. Yep, she's been <laughs> producing, and I'm sure she's enjoyed just having married life. And then oh, it's good to see Maybe she's, she's in modeling. this Chocolate Express is filming right now, so I'm happy to see that she'll be coming back. I, I would really, she's an actress who has done enough work that has wanted, I, I want to ask her questions about process yeah, very much. Anyways, let us know what you thought about Perry or Parai, as we all know. Uh, and what should be our next uh, Anushka Sharma film? And what other spooky films? Obviously, we're done with kind of our spooky, but obviously, we'll watch spooky we'll films watch anytime, spooky. anytime throughout the year. Give us a good spook anytime uh, of the year. And then maybe we'll, if I can get some um, enough to. I, I thought it was going to be like, oh, we're going to get three kind of okay films. I am uh, pleasantly three surprised. Three of my favorites uh, so far this year. So Yeah, I really didn't think we'd have much. Maybe there's a lot more to be uh, than, than we thought. Um, so let us know what we should watch next down below.